When I was growing up, um, I was in gymnastics. That was one of the, the many activities that I wore my parents out doing when I was growing up. There were four of us, and all of us were in different activities, whether it was track and field or volleyball or basketball, football, all of it. And I was in gymnastics for a while. I did it as long as I could till I got too tall, towering over all of the, the real gymnasts, the little short, sweet, <laughs> real gymnasts. And, um, I loved all of the activities um, that were a part of, or all the events that were a part of gymnastics, but I gotta tell you, one of my favorites was the balance beam. I enjoyed the balance beam. I was a little too tall and lanky for it to really get really good at it, but I enjoyed messing around on the balance beam. And I remember that I would stand one foot in front of the other, trying to center myself, trying to get some equilibrium so that I could stay upright. And what I recall the most about that event was my coach. My coach would always go and he would rarely stand head on looking at me um, from the side where he could see the entire beam and me standing in the center of it. Most of the time, he would often go to the back side of the beam where he could see, see it in a single file. And he would look very intently down the single file of the, um, or the alignment of the balance beam. And he was looking not mostly to see if my feet were on the beam correctly, what he was looking for was to check to make sure the alignment of the rest of my body was centered with where my feet were. He was trying to see if my hips were shifted into the right place, if my shoulders were in the right place, if my neck, if my head was centered in the right place. He would not give me any further instructions about what the next most difficult thing I could do was, the next flip that I could turn, the next um, uh, spin that I could make. He wouldn't give me any further instructions until first he knew that everything was in alignment. He knew that I could hurt myself. If he gave me any further instructions before I got everything lined up exactly the way that it needed to be. You and I are not called to perfection, hallelujah. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit stands back and sometimes the whispers, the impressions that he gives us, the first inklings that we have of God's work in our, in our life is because he's watching us. And he just wants to see if there's an area of pride that needs to be realigned. If there's an area of fear that the enemy is using to, to cause you to be disjointed in some way from the will of God, he wants to realign that in your life. If your ego is standing in the way, if he wants to make sure that there's no intimidation that the enemy is using against you to keep something out of alignment in your life, if there's something you're holding on to too tightly that he knows that you're going to need to just loosen your grip a little bit so that at the Spirit's bidding, you'll be willing to let go. Sometimes he withholds some directions until first he makes sure that your alignment is squared away.